Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, Aranga. Oh, yes. I'm here, live and direct, at where? Iragbeji. Ha! Huh. That's in Oshun State, too. Yes, so we are still in Oshun State. And we are here to meet an icon. Ha! Huh. Hey, you have not seen anything, no? Just prepare yourself. Sit back. Eh? Do you hear that? Sit back. Because Papa has a lot to tell us. Yes, so this is a place where, even if, whenever you come to Nigeria, just make sure you pay Baba a visit. Yes, he's a very lively person. And he's in no other person than Chief Muraino Oyelami. Ah, let me say pa, let me add pa to hit. Because he's an elderly man, no? Guess his age. No, 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 no. Until you see him, then you now know that. Huh? Aha, uh -huh, because that secret, I want to get it from him. I want to collect it from him now. Today. So, without much ado, follow me as we go inside Baba's chamber. I call this place a palace. Don't worry, this Baba is a chief here. Yes. He's a chief of uh, Iragbeje here. Yeah. He's a chief of uh, Esa. Esa of Iragbeje land. So let's go in and uh, meet Baba. Let's go. This is Baba's uh, compound. So it's like uh, we have uh, one of uh, Adam's. You yeah. are Adam's. Adam's. I use Adam's. Oh, okay, Adam's Mohammed. So you are what to Baba? Yes. What are you to Baba? A manager to Baba. So uh, we want to meet Baba. I hope Baba is at home. I'm sure because we have already booked an appointment with Baba. So Baba is surely around. Welcome, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Happy to meet you, sir. Same here, sir. Wow. This looks like a stage. Stage. When Baba comes. I think you'll be able to tell us that. Uh, and uh, Baba has a very solid uh, museum that he can, you know, he will be the one to tell us you know, what the what he has in the museum. So, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So they've gone to inform Baba. So Baba will soon join us. You see, in my country. We respect adults a lot. Too. So you will see what I will do. Eh? How we greet an elder in my country, Nigeria. Huh? Don't worry, just wait until Baba comes. <laughs> ah, that is you. So this is how we greet elders in Yoruba land, Nigeria here. So, and this is my daddy that I just introduced to you. It's an icon. Honestly, when you talk of art and culture in Nigeria, you have to mention daddy's name. Daddy has been in the system for donkey years, even before I was even born. Yes, exactly, before I was born. Yeah, so daddy will, you know, we put, we ask some questions and uh, Daddy will do justice to it. So, Daddy, um, for clarity, sir, yes. I just want you to tell us again because I've, I've introduced you, and perhaps I might not likely be able to, you know, uh, you know, introduce you better than for them to hear from you as well, sir. Okay. So, may we meet you, sir? Yes, you are meeting me here now. I'm here. I, I know you are here, sir. <laughs> you can see. Daddy, Daddy is also into acting, you know. Can you see the way Daddy is giving it back to me? <laughs> uh, I'm Moraina Oyelami. That's my name. And uh, I have a title. Traditional 
chieftaincy title of Esa. Esa means the second in command to the king of the town. King is the traditional custodian of the culture of a particular place. And this is the rugby G, my hometown. I'm second in rank to the king. I'm an artist by profession, both visual and performing artist. I think we met already. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> so, Daddy, please, um, uh, we would like to go around, you know, we, I heard you have a museum here, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, because I was once a museum curator wow. between 1967 and 1972. 19 what, sir? 67 and 1972. <laughs> you hear that? 67? Uh, yeah. Okay, sir. So I grew interest in having my own museum. Wow. That was the time I was in Osobo, Osobo, the capital the, of Washington State. Capital of Washington State, yeah. yeah. So I started collecting my own items. And at last, I was able to make this museum what it is today. Wow. It's not just carvings, but I have uh, historic pictures, photographs, there were small library, posters, all sorts of things, juxtaposition of different things that are related. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And uh, I also heard that uh, you have a school here. Yes. I, I, I don't like it when they call it a school. Or should I put it as an institution or what? It's an institution. Okay. Oh. Better still, a meeting point. A meeting point, yes. okay. Uh, yes, you know, after something like uh, 60 years of my involvement in the propagation, sustenance, and uh, developing the visual and performing arts of my people, the Yorubas, I think it's time to pay back to the society the little I had. I put it together to go and buy this land and construct. Not that I constructed it, but I, I paid for it on my own. So we have what is now known um, as uh, Abeni Visual and Performing Arts Institute. Wow. Why? Why this? Abeni is the Uriki of my mother, oh, wow. who I love so much to immortalize her name. That's why you have a Abeni. Yeah. So what do we do there? We encourage, we empower youths that uh, they may be talented in so many other ways. The, the parents, you can tell me, or you know, what is obtaining now in the country. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to job seeking, yeah. even with your degrees, PhD, LLD. It doesn't LLD, have any value anymore. Even if it does, you know, there's nowhere you can practicalize it. Exactly. So I put that thing up so that people can benefit. At least to be self-sufficient. So self-reliant. It's yeah. self-reliant. So we created a place where you can learn how to weave ashoke, traditional ashoke. Wow. I say traditional. We have weaving now, nowadays, made by machines. And machines. I didn't want to do anything negative about that. But we should not forget the traditional method of our uh, creativity. So that we, we have uh, uh, weavers that are doing traditional weaving. We have tie and dye, adire designs. We have uh, dressmaking unit. We have uh, Choreography, dance, and music wow. units. Wow! So that's this is a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm doing. I've not actually accomplished much, but we are the starting point, and it's like a dream. Mm. About six years ago, and it's manifesting. It's manifesting wow. now. Wow! We just had about 30 graduated students last month. Wow. In different fields. 
So this gives me joy and I wish people are more interested in what they can do with their hands. People are so, you know, so occupied with something that they can do immediately and get money. And get money. You know, our people are not lazy. They, they need to be given the right direction, you know. You need to convince them that they need to work. You know, you go to, you do Okada. What I mean by Okada, you know it. Okada, yes, yes. So, I've had students who come, after three, four days, they vanish. Hmm. Because that's not what they expect. Hmm. They want something quick, but I see how many of them who are still very much interested in what we are doing. Wow, wow, wow. They are there now, as I'm talking to you, they're there. Okay, automatically, maybe after this interview, we will definitely go to that is a, a institution so that we can see yeah, what see. exactly daddy you know is talking about and you can from that you can see that uh, daddy has really done a lot uh, you know and the aspect of uh, art and culture and also trying to bring up uh, youth you know uh, in a way that they will be self-reliant when it comes to you know uh, doing something that they love you know, uh, doing. So, Daddy, I also heard that you are, you, you are a drummer as well, or how do I put it? Yes. Is um, it true? I'm not a professional drummer. Drumming about. No, <laughs> no, no. I started drumming in the theater because of my love and passion for music. And the person that actually gave me that inspiration to believe that drumming is something of importance, something that is very, very important, is my papa. My, I can claim him to be my papa. That's papa Tinilaoye, the Tinioverde. I'm, I'm talking about 1963. You know, he used to be a very close friend of one German anthropologist, Uli Bayer. And then uh, they are so close because Willy Bayer and Georgina, I mean, and uh, Susan Wenger once lived in Ede. Ede, yes. So, we uh -huh. so about that. before they left for Ilobu, before Oshobo, so they were so close. And Willy Bayer was among the people that actually encouraged Baba. Mm. A whole king of an ancient town huh? to drum. But because of Baba being highly civilized and educated, he could see it from another perspective. Mm. He said, why not? Let me show you. It's part of our culture. Wow. Not that he was drumming for um, to anything make to make. No, 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 no. He wanted to show off with part of his tradition and culture to people. He went as far as to Salisbury in uh, Zimbabwe, you know, as at that time. I learned all this because I was very close to Uli Bayer. Wow. Anyway, that's another story. Wow, 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 wow. So now, um, uh, if you don't mind, Daddy, maybe after the whole thing, um, I would love you. I don't know if there's a drum here that you can just, you know, as a bit to our audience so that they really know what we are talking about and uh, how far uh, you've gone deep oh, okay. deep into this. Uh, no, don't be like the other people that came there already. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I have drums here, I have everything, but as I am here now, okay, okay. my mood, my, you know, you should know, I, understand I what cannot you're now I understand pick up my... Just to demonstrate so that people can see me. Of course, they've seen me in so many places all over the world. I'm not boasting, but I'm only saying that had it been I knew, maybe what well, Normally, when I now pick my drum, I say, bam, bam, boom, 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 bam, 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 boom, 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 boom. I've done that so many times. I can understand. But if I have group, then okay, play only, then, then I can play for a second. Two seconds. Two seconds. Okay, so um, Daddy, we will love you to please uh, take us around that so that we go okay. around to see. Okay. Okay. Um, this is 
I created this platform just for, I believe, too much in documentation. And I've done a lot of documentation. As an amateur cameraman, I've developed interest in camera in the early 70s when I was in New York at the National Black Theater. So, you never know the camera called Kodak. Kodak, yes. Kodak, yes. Uh, so, that used to be my <laughs> uh, camera. I still have some shots with that uh, Kodak. Wow. So, when I, that, you know, some of these uh, oral chanters, they are dying. You know, there's nobody to continue the tradition. So, I go to them. I have I have series of uh, documentations now of dead uh, chanters. Your better I want I have them for posterity. I don't know who may need it, but I, I believe in documenting them. And at times I will stage manage a show here. Invite them, they will perform, I will, I will take the picture as I said. Like a, a true, uh, I mean, like a true cinematographer, <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> which I am not. <laughs> so we will record everything, and I will have prepared questions for the selected audience. Yes, yes. And they will start questioning them, and I will record all this. Wow. Uh, Times we have a live performance also. This is the stage, and I made this here. I saw this catfish without the fins. Oh, so wow, this is in form of a catfish. Yes. That's what I see. Yes, sir, sir. Aborine. Yes. You are no one. Aborine. That's the head. But where can you cut it? Well, you, you, you meant it like this? Yes, yeah, yeah. so I made a stick out of it. Wow. So I make it like my backdrop. Wow. Okay, so we perform, we come and dance with the hats. Uh, look at groups who come and dance because I encourage them. So. Oh, this is awesome. So, is that all? No, the, the museum, sir. Oh, okay. Just been, we've been here to just uh, see some of the things. Yeah, these are my collections since over 40 years. I've been collecting them one by one. Mm. You've seen that? That was me in Berlin. Oh, that's that one? Yeah, in 1964. Wow. Playing on Monday, Bata. Playing, what do you call it? Ubiliapo. And Bata or something. I mean, they are late. But they come early. Mm. <laughs> but I'm still alive. I'm alive, I know. Yeah. If you see Saburu there by this, um, um, who did the film? Tundeke Dan. Tundeke Dan. I studied the art of Bata drumming from him, not as a apprentice master. We were together, and because of my interest in music, you know, don't be surprised. I play clarinet too. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I love, I love uh, Beethoven. And with that, I Can you see that Daddy is a bundle of uh, talent now? Honestly, uh, he, in fact, I'm highly honored to meet you, sir. Thank you. Uh, this, uh, they call them Ibuju and Wangu, Igoje. Igoje are the entertaining mass careers. You know, you have different types of masquerades. These are like entertainers. Like they satirize. It's, they make jests of people. Mm. Like a DD. Mm. 
Elenioru Oyibo Tapa Ase Otekwa Aousa Dara Dara They are active, they perform it, you see it. But this mask has never been used because I knew the family making this were dying off. So I commissioned them 25 years ago. Wow. For preservation and uh, they are still here. Um, this Abiko mask were brought back from East Central during the Civil War in 1966 67. From Africa, from Africa, and these are from Calabar area. And this one here, I bought it at an auction in Nuremberg, Bavaria, in Germany, in 1982. I wanted to show off as a patriotic Nigerian or Yoruba, so they were auctioning artifacts from Africa, and we were walking past the place. We just had a dark beer. So, Say okay, let me show. Okay, the bill does. The bill does anything. Four stick mark, many fifty marks, German Dutch marks. Dutch marks. I wanted to show, thinking that when I when when I say okay, so much, they will still. Somebody else will just mention another higher price. Oh, so you are the first to even make a okay. No, not the first. They've been bidding on it, okay. then I just mentioned the price, much higher than uh, the than last uh, bidder. Uh, I was under the influence of uh, Southern Germany beer. <laughs> <laughs> so, and they look at this, this is Africa. It belongs to it belongs to his family. They said, Banga, the bell rang. I said, oh, I'm dead. I don't have that money. Oh, wow. <laughs> Then I told them I only had five Dutch mark on me. And I was about 80 kilometers away from Nuremberg. We are going back to Bayreuth. Wow. So they said, no, no, no problem. Deposit the five mark. We'll bring it to you tomorrow morning. I said, wow. But they came very early the following morning and reluctantly I issued them a check of 99 marks. Wow. So, yeah. So, but it's now history. history now. And the funny thing is that when I brought it back to Nigeria, and the customer said, Where are you getting it from? Where is it from? How did you get it? I said, Oh my God, what have I done? So they took me to their organ, I took them. I said, ah. Then the organ said, Don't you know this man is a patriot? He understood what was happening. So they gave it back to me. Yeah. And now it's history. Wow, wow. So I think I've talked enough. Honestly, Daddy, you have really tried. Mm -hmm. You have really tried, honestly. Wow. Well, as, as a master on stage, uh, well, just as a drummer, the fear you see me on stage acting the role of uh, Ombari Gu. King of Gu, the rise in the effect. Marry me, marry me. That's me. Yes, I'm here. Wow. That was 1965. Wow. And Lily uh, Paimon. She did it by one. Yeah, this is. Play the role of Eda. Uh, okay, is that where he derived that egg down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. And that actually, the play was written by an Austrian playwright. And we adapted it. And that was enjoying himself, no moving, whining, dining, no full of fake life. Has body suddenly death came. And then he was questioning death. Who are you? How could you come inside my room? How did you enter? And then he said, Look, you are crazy. I'm the cool. <laughs> so this is Papa Eda. Eda, yes.
Well, <laughs> I'm so not too far. Well, well, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. I guess this is Baba Eda as well. Of course, that, 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 he's that's part of with, life, enjoying yeah, himself. Yes, yeah, yeah, even here. And suddenly, death came calling. And then, when everybody, you know, deserted him, he remember he has wealth. Oh my God. Like money. So this is the costume we made for money. You know, shining something. So he said, ah, you have to follow me to meet Olu Dumari. Then uh, uh, the money said, you must be crazy. You go alone and face your own problem. I'll wait here for another person to come. Wow. So there, then, Owo pulls him down. I know, I mean, wealth. Wealth, yeah. Ran away from him. Wow. So it was wow. a moral play. Wow. This is, this is awesome. This is awesome. You told me that you just got your time. audience that uh, because they, you are still very hard yeah. and uh, you're talking about 60s also, we, we know your age sir. it's not everywhere I was born 21st of February 1940 1940 yes. wow that's 80 years yes. and daddy is as if he's still you know, under 40. Ah, thank you. That's very complimentary. Sir, please, sir. What is the secret, sir? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what the secret is. I wouldn't know. But I want to believe that it's what you people call contentment. As for me, everything flows. Nothing is permanent. So, you have no. You are not the owner of the world. Let's put it that way. There's this belief which I hold. I was in, in Washington DC in 1974, and I could. I was staying in one hotel. So one morning, I wanted to go around. There's this what they call flea market. Flea. Yeah, yeah, know. You know I flea market. I even participated in one in the in the UK. Selling or buying? <laughs> selling. I was selling some of my cousins. Ah. <laughs> so, so I saw these radiograms, grounding radiograms. You remember those days when they have a, a radiogram, you know, with garage uh, changer. Yes, yes, so I said, ah, for 50, 50 cents. I said, ah, I would like to buy this. They did. I was thinking at the same time, how would I take it back to Nigeria? So I decided not to bother my. So I was feeding my eye. Suddenly I come across this little girl selling his uh, father's uh, ornamented poetry. So I saw one that says, Do something. You are you, and I am I. I'm not in this world to live up to expectations. 
I may not in this world to live up to mine. But if by chance we meet, mm. it's beautiful. I bought that one. Two dollars, I mean, 15 cents or 10 cents. I roll it, put it in my, in my pocket. It didn't cost anything. There's another one that says, I cannot, I can't. But it, it's really, it's like, what I found there really resembles my thoughts. You know, I, I think coincidental. It even inspires you more. More, make me have more trust and belief in myself. Yes. That after all, I'm not crazy after all. That has been guiding me. You are you, I'm I. You know, and what is life? Everything flows. Nothing is permanent. So maybe it's part of me. People say I don't I don't regard myself as somebody. Of course I'm, I'm somebody. Everybody is somebody. You are more than somebody that I don't know, no, no, no. <laughs> so nice meeting you. It's a pleasure meeting you, sir. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, so great. this is a uh, Prince Dewali Lawi. Yes. And um it's through him that we got to meet Baba after hall with Hajj. So uh, uh, we want to say thank you to Prince Dewali Lawi. And I'm sure you might have seen him in uh, his palace where we went to at Afilu, that's the founder of Afilu. So keep watching Arenga TV till we come your way. Same time, same channel with another wonderful and interesting video. It's my pleasure to say bye bye from here and then. Oh, double.